some are wondering what is going on today on October 9, 2023, Monday. And yes, today is Columbus Day. While September 27th was a couple of weeks ago, things have just been hectic and, and the weather wasn't cooperating. So that's why I'm shooting now. But on September 27th, the truck had exactly 96,900 miles. The year prior, September 27, 2022, had 77,678 miles, which means for this yearly cycle, I drove this truck 19,222 miles. Based on that, one can safely say that the new transmission has held up quite well. So far, it hasn't given me any problems, and hopefully I didn't jinx it just now. Quite a big difference in the miles I put on the yearly cycle. Yeah, it was a, it was down for a good amount of time uh, this time last year, but long story short, and I really don't want to delve into it right now because I just don't know what any of this is going to turn into. Um, yeah, the the Hyundai has been having its troubles this year, so props to this truck for stepping up to the plate. Let's start with some brand new KYB shocks here in the back. Got new rear shocks in the back. Obviously, I don't think I need to show the other corner. And some new KYB shocks on the front as well. That was also done. And on the front here, you have a new stabilizer link. Now, the way they do it, if you look at the mounting points here and here, the widths are ever so slightly different on the bushing. And KYB didn't take this into account, so only a stock Mopar one was going to fit. But I had to take the truck into the dealer for some other things, so... On the front here, this is a stock Mopar steering stabilizer. And I, of course, did all of that because I, I want my new tires to last as long as possible. This is the Mickey Thompson Baja Legend. Another thing I've also done, so it doesn't wear in the center so quickly... Unless I know I'm going to really load it up and start using it like a one-ton truck. I've just knocked the rear PSI down to 65, so it wears a little more in the center. Obviously, dealers and shops are not going to do that because they never really want to deviate from the manufacturer's recommendation, especially if you're talking about going under. So, to any of you who might have been in a similar situation, do this at your own discretion. If you do do that, just remember that you're under and inflate them when you know you're going to start loading up the truck so just wanted to put that little tidbit out there and we find ourselves back underneath the truck because i also got a new spare one that's going to be better suited for all the seasons given that it's a spare this is the sumitomo encounter at which too bad they didn't have raised white letters for that model because i probably would have gotten that over the mickey thompson but i will say those Mickey Thompsons are good tires, but anyhow, this is a head done. There's all sorts of rust in the back of the rim, and the only people who I know can do sandblasting have to be the powder coating place, and I like when my spares are high-vis. I said, well, haven't you guys sandblasted them? I was be powder coated, and I've done a business with them. They gave me a good deal, so yes, I had this rim powder coated. It's protected inside and out, and got this nice new Sumitomo. So, in conclusion, I have rid this truck of any and all remnants of Firestone tires. And this is just my personal opinion. I'm not going to start any brand wars, but if you really value your life and your vehicle, you will not run Firestone tires. But that's just my opinion. And focusing in on the right rear corner here, the only one thing that I'm really not too happy about, and I am going to demand that Chrysler answers to this, yeah, this is already rusted through. How outrageous. I mean, yes, I get it. The bed is cheaper to replace. I'd rather lose the bed than the cab. But even so, I mean, come on. Look, one thing that never has and never will fly with me is when I know that I took good care of something and it screws up on me anyway. And this, this is... Again, just unacceptable, and I want Chrysler to answer to this. There we go. Increase the exposure a little bit so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, I, I am I am not happy about that, and I am really outraged by that. Well, 
that more or less sums it up. Certainly did better this time around than last year. And the one thing I have always been wanting to say about this truck, I keep saying I'll do a video on it, but I guess this is the video I mentioned it. I would actually be okay with this truck's problems. It's just the timing and the mileage. Like that rust I showed you just now. If there was a one in front of it, if it was about to be 16 years old, yeah, here in New York, that makes sense. Even a well taken care of truck, you're going to deal with some rust. I get that. Especially the one you saw just now. If it was going to be 16 years old, then I would have no case. Same thing with this whole transmission debacle. Knowing how lightly I used this truck and how well cared for it was. You know, why was it ready to be on its third transmission at 77,000 miles? Now, it was, it was a one in front of it. It was going to be a 177,000 miles. Different story. I would have no case then. That's pretty much my only real gripe with it. But at least the one thing I will always give this truck, there are solutions for it. And you can make it a better truck along the way. And, and you know, look, trucks just have staying power. I'm a truck person for this reason. Well, that's all I've got. That's the conclusion of the six year mark of having this truck. Despite its shortcomings, it has overall been a, a great truck to me. I like this truck. I'm glad I still have this truck. And even now as I shoot this, I absolutely praise this truck for once again stepping up to the plate, especially over this uh, last month and a half again I'm, I'm not going to get into it here really but just know that this truck has uh stepped up to the plate once more for me that's pretty much it that's all i got any and all input is greatly appreciated be safe out there have a great day and don't be a stranger